hello this is inequalities and modulus lesson 3 in this i will discuss some new concepts and the questions based on them now first concept that i'm going to discuss is that if x is greater than equals to 1 the value of 1 plus 1 by x power x its value always lies always greater than equals to 2 but less than 2.8 this is the formula or your concept that you need to learn condition is that x must be greater than or equals to 1 then i can say that 1 plus 1 by x power x its value will lie bit less than its value will be less than 2.8 and greater than or equals to 2 as you put the value of x as 1 you will get the answer as 2 more than 1 the value will get more than 2 but it will always be less than 2.8 now what kind of questions can come on this first kind of question can come like this 60 power 61 or 61 power 60 which one is the larger number now you have to solve this question based on the concept I discussed so what I will do 61 power 60 60 power 61 I will divide if this fraction is less than 1, it means that denominator is larger number, otherwise numerator. So, I will, this is 60 plus 1 power 60. I will take uh, 60 power 1 as it is into 60 power 60. I have broken this. Can I say 60 plus 1 power 60 divided by 60 power 60? 1 by 60 will be outside. This is 1 by 60 I have taken. 1 by 60 outside now can I see this is 1 by 60 this you can solve like this this will become 60 plus 1 by 60 whole power 60 and this is 1 by 60 this is 1 plus 1 by 60 power 60 now this is same this uh, this this part 1 plus 1 by 60 power 60 is same as the concept I discuss with you 1 by 1 plus 1 by x power x this is 1 plus 1 by 60 power 60 now this value will always lie between 2 and uh, 2 and 2.8 so can i say that my uh, this would be by 60 will be there numerator will be between 2 and 2.8 numerator will be between 2 and 2.8 minimum value can be 2 maximum value could be 2.8 but even if it's 2.8 2.8 by 60 this fraction is less than 1 because denominator is larger this fraction is less than 1 it means that our denominator 60 power 61 is larger than the 61 power 60 so can I say that 60 power 61 is larger than 61 power 60 so this concept is useful in these kind of questions now question 2 is 1 plus 1 by 25 power 25 1 plus 1 by 26 power 26 1 plus 1 by 27 power 27 you need to arrange them in descending order now just we discussed in the previous slide 1 plus 1 by x power x when x is greater than 1 x is greater than equals to 1 this is between 2.8 and this is greater than equals to 2 we will use that now we make a pattern can i say that 1 plus 1 by 2 power 2 you calculate this this will become 3 by 2 whole square this, this will become 9 by 4 and you will calculate this will be 2.25 now calculate 1 plus 1 by 3 power 3 can I this is 4 by 3 power 3 this will become 64 by 27 this will be equal to once you do with the help of calculator this will come 2.37 now observe the pattern as we increase the number the value is coming more now 1 plus 1 by 4 power 4 can I say this is 5 by 4 power 4 if you will so this is 1.25 power 4 this will be equal to 2.44 now you can see the pattern as I am increasing the number uh, from 2 to 3 to 4 the value is increasing again if you take 1 plus 1 by 5 power 5 this will be 6 by 5 power 5 can I say this is 1.2 power 5 this will be because 2.48 so what's the pattern you observe may just solve 2 or 3 
these kinds and then you can form the pattern can i say that 1 plus 1 by 5 power 5 is greater than 1 plus 1 by 4 power 4 greater than 1 plus 1 by 3 power 3 it means that the larger the number the greater the value same by by same logic 1 plus 1 by 27 power 27 will be greater than 1 plus 1 by 26 power 26 this will be greater than 1 plus 1 by 25 power 25 so this will be the order and this will be your final answer this is the descending order now next concept is very important if x is a positive real number positive real number means that you can assume that x is greater than 0 x plus 1 by x will always be greater than equals to 2 if you put x as 1 then you will get 1 plus 1 by 1 this is equals to 2 if you put x is equals to 2 you will get 2 plus 1 by 2 that is 2.5 so its value is always greater than equals to 2 even if you take fraction 1 by 10 now this become 1 by 10 plus 10 that is more than 2 so whatever value you put for positive real number x you will get x plus 1 by x greater than equals to 2 now this is very important concept many a time question used to come on this concept uh, let me give you a question now question is x y into x plus y y z into y plus z plus x z into x plus z divided by x y z you need to find the minimum value of this function minimum value of this function given that x y z are positive real number r positive means positive real number now what i will do i will divide can i say that x x y and x y will get cancelled out this is x plus y by z plus y plus z by this is x and this is x plus z by x z x z will cancel out this is y so can i say that this is x by z plus y by z plus y by x plus z by x plus x by y plus z by y now x y and z are all positive integer positive real number so i am assuming that x by z as k1 i am assuming x by z as k1 so z by x reciprocal of this z by x would be 1 upon k1 would be 1 upon k1 same way if you take y by z as k2 y by z at k2 your z by y your z by y this will be reciprocal of this this will be 1 by k2 same way if you take this y by x this y by x as k3 this y by x as k3 this x by y will become 1 upon k3 now you apply now we, i will club this some of them together can i say that k1 plus 1 by k1 plus k2 plus 1 by k2 plus k3 plus 1 by k3 now this is similar to the concept i told you that what the concept i told you that x plus 1 by x where x is a positive real number is always greater than equals to 2 so k1 plus 1 by k1 this is always greater than equals to 2 because k1 is a positive real number this is also greater than 2 plus this is also greater than 2 so minimum value of this function will be always greater than equals to 6 so minimum value of this function would be 6 uh, this is the minimum value maximum value can be up to infinity depending on what you will put the value of x y and z so minimum value of this function would be 6 now question 4 is this is the some expression is given to you you need to find the minimum value of that expression now what's given to you that x y and z are positive real numbers now pause the video try to solve yourself then look at the way i have solved now what i will do i will divide it like this 2x square plus x plus 2 this is by x can i say this is 3y square plus y plus 3 by y can i say this is 4z square plus z plus 4 by z i can write it like this now divide this can i say that this is 2x plus 1 plus 2 by x this is one equation into this is 3y plus 1 this is 3 by y this is 4z plus 1 this is 4 by z now can i say that one will take outside can i say this is 2x plus 2 by x i am just rearranging this this is 1 plus 3y plus 3 by y and this is 1 plus 4z 
plus 4 by z. Now what I will do, I will take 2 common, this is x plus 1 by x, this will be like this. And I am taking 3 common, this is y plus 1 by y. And I am taking 4 common, this is z plus 1 by z. Now I told you that x when x, y, z are positive real number, this value will always greater than equals to 2. This value will always greater than 2. This value will also greater than equals to 2. So can I say that this is 1 plus something greater than equals to 4. This is what I am getting. 2 into 2, 4. This is 1 plus something greater than equals to 6. And this is 1 plus something greater than equals to 8. So if you add this, can I say that I will get getting something greater than equals to 5, greater than equals to 7, greater than equals to 9. So can I say that my value will be always greater than this will always be greater than greater than equals to 5 into 7 into 9. Can I say that this will be always this means this always greater than equals to 3, 1, 5. So minimum value of this function is 3, 1, 5 and that will be your answer. Now question 5 is very important. A, B, C are the sides of a triangle. You need to find the range of this function or this expression. Now what we know about the sides of triangle. First we know three things about the sides of triangle. And on the base of these three things I will calculate the value. First I know that sum of any two sides must is greater than third side. A plus B is greater than C. B plus C is greater than A. Because sum of any two sides is greater than third side. C plus A is always greater than B. This is the one thing now. Second thing you must know that the difference of the mode A minus B. The difference of the side. The mode because uh, its value will be sometime negative. Mode of the difference of two sides is always less than the third side. A minus B is less than C. B minus C is less than A. And C minus A is less than b. You can check it for any triangle. If there is a triangle, if the a, b, c are the sides of the triangle, this is given to us. The difference of the mode will always be less than third side. Third concept that is used in these kind of question is that the difference of the side square must be always greater than equals to zero. This is always greater than equals to zero because uh, what can the difference of side? Either it will be negative or positive or 0. The minimum value of a minus b square can be 0. b minus c square can be also greater than equals 0. c minus a square this is also greater than equals 0. Now we will open them uh, sometimes squares them and we will get the range. Now first let me open this. Can I say this a square plus b square minus 2ab this is greater than equals to 0. So what I will get a square plus b square greater than equals to 2ab adding 2ab both sides. So this is what I am getting from the first part. Same way second part, this part I will get b square plus c square greater than equals to 2bc. Same way I will get c square plus a square greater than 2ac. Now what I will do? I will combine them, adding them. I will add all the three equations. This all the three equation I will add. This is 1, 2 and 3. And I will add what will happen? Can I say that twice of a square plus b square plus c square greater than equals to twice of ab plus bc plus ac can i say that uh, what i got a square plus b square 2 and 2 will get cancelled out a square plus b square plus c square greater than ab plus bc plus ac now divide both side by ab plus bc plus ac because it's a positive number divide no change in uh, no change in inequality will come a square plus b square plus c square divided by ab plus bc plus ac this is always greater than equals to 1 so we found that this is greater than equals to 1 now same way uh, open this this square square this can i say that mode of mode square is same as a minus b square can i say a square plus b square minus 2ab this is this is uh, less than c square so what i will be getting i am getting a square plus b square minus c square this is less than 2ab. This is what I am getting. a square plus b square minus c square less than 2ab. Same same way if you open this you will get b square plus c square minus a square less than 2bc. And the last equation you will get you get a square plus c square minus b square 
this is less than 2ac now what you will do you will add these three equations i am just doing nothing i am just doing the square S square both side i am doing square both side this is square both side post in number so there will be no change in inequality now adding all these three equations this is 1 2 and 3 if you add all these three equations what you will get uh, you will get a square plus b square plus c square less than twice of ab plus bc plus ac can i say that a square plus b square plus c square divided by uh, ab plus bc plus ca this is less than 2 so we got that this is greater than equals to 1 this is less than equals to 2 so what will be range this is this is less than equals to 2 and greater than equals to 1 that will be the range of this so that was all about this lesson thank you